Salmi. Sit down. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Saul, I understand you are waiving your right to a jury, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, you understand the charges against you, Mrs. Saul? Yes. You are charged with conspiracy, holding a person in involuntary service. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Right. Let us proceed. College will take you with a C in calculus. Or you wanna end up in a community college, huh? Okay, I have four AP classes. I'm working my ass off. What more do you want from me? Do not use that language with your father. Look, I want a son that I can be proud of. Why do you think came to America, huh? So you can have a good education and a good life. Well, I actually got all A's on my last report card. Gracias. ¿Hablas ah. español? doing this. Leila can do it. Because I like to do it a certain way. So show her how you like it done. I spend all day showing her how to do things. You spend all day showing her how to do things, huh? <sighs> Sweetie, I think you are a little hard on the girl. What do you mean? She's here to help us. <clears throat> She's your niece. You brought her to this country because your sister wanted a better life for her. This is a much better life than anything she could have had back home. And it's just building her character. Still, she is too young to be working this hard. Oh my God. I worked twice as hard when I was in her age. You know where you were when you were her age. Accident? No. I'm going to the market. 
Don't answer the phone and don't open the door. that started. Here, you see this? Put this in your underwear. Change it every time you go to the bathroom. Do not flush it down the toilet. Now get up and go wash your clothes and your sheets. Come on. Hola. <laughs> Do you speak English? Hey, how come you don't go to school like your brothers and sisters? Your Honor, I'd like to call Suzanne Sahal to the stand. <laughs> Ms. Sahal, you understand that you're under oath? Yes. Can you please describe how you treated the defendant? We treated her like one of our own children. And do your own children do chores? Some. Mm. Such as? They had to do their schoolwork. Schoolwork is not a chore. For some it is. And what about the victim? What kind of chores did she have? Well, Layla cleaned our house and she prepared our meals. This is nothing more than American housekeepers would do. American housekeepers don't work 18 hours a day, seven days a week. And they're not 13-year-old children. Ms. Saha? Objection. The number of hours per week has not been substantiated. OK, fine. For now, we will say x hours per week. But I think it's been well substantiated that this happened over an 18-month period when the victim was between 12 and 14 years old. In my country, it is customary to employ children her age to help the domestic help. I was just following the customs of my homeland. Notwithstanding US child labor laws, American housekeepers get to leave their jobs at the end of the day, and, well, they can resign if they feel so inclined. Layla could have left anytime she wanted. Oh, really? And done what? Hopped on a plane and go back to her family? Objection. We are addressing the nature of the alleged victim's relationship to the Sahals, not some hypothetical hardship should she have separated from their employee. Sustained. Whether the relationship can be described as employee is yet to be determined. Oh, Ms. Sahal, I do have one last question. Did you or any member of your family ever strike the girl? Objection. Questions must pertain to the defendant only. Did you ever strike the alleged victim? Never. No further questions, Your Honor. How are you? <laughs> mm, 
My name is Emilio. Emilio? Emilio, yes. What's your name? Leila. Leila? Leila. Hola, Leila. Hola, Emilio. You're a fast learner. Hola means hello. Hey, Ablador! Come on! Deja eso! You don't feel well? Just a little headache. Come on. Turn, I'll give you a good massage. <sighs> you know, you work so hard. And that employer, they don't appreciate anything that you do. How long have you worked there? Maybe uh, five and a half years. There you go. I think it's time for a promotion. We talked about this before. I think I have to wait for the right time to talk to Mr. Ibrahim. Maybe uh, after the next account. You know, sometimes you take so long that I think you missed the opportunity. Maybe you just need to be more aggressive with Mr. Ibrahim. I am aggressive enough. I'm just looking out for you. I'm looking out for the whole family. I am looking out for the whole family. Hola means hello. Yeah, yeah. Today, we're going to learn some new words. <laughs> you have a seat. I got you a surprise. A book. It's an English book. I'll teach you. So, uh, we can start with the letter A. That's the first letter, okay? Okay. So, look, uh, uh, A is A. 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 Again.
presents for a family. Look what Santa Claus brought, she exclaimed. Who is Santa Claus? You don't know who Santa Claus is? Okay, he's a uh, make-believe, like an elf or a dragon. And he brings presents on Christmas to all the good children in the world. And he's jolly, and he says, Ho, 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 ho! Oh, 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 oh. he is the, the fat man in the red suit? Yes, but he is not real. I know that. <laughs> he is in cartoons. Do not look at her with those evil eyes. She's your cousin. My cousin, huh? Don't you think it's strange she doesn't look like any of us? What do you mean? Have you ever asked mother which of her sisters is Layla's mother? You know, I do not like your insinuations about your mother. The only thing that concerns me is the impure thoughts in your heart. Go. Hello. The girl needs a new clothes. I'll see if Mariam has any old clothes. I'm very tired. <laughs> ay, 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 ya no puedo, papi, ya no puedo. When I was your age, I went days without food, agua, no bed. Stepped on the floor. I, uh, oh, what's the matter? Is it your back again? See, si, see, si. doing this a long time, mijo. Makes me an old man at 40. <laughs> yeah, but you still got it, eh? Yeah, si, yeah. No soy abuelo. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, maybe soon. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. You have to be careful. Here, siéntate. No. Bobby, let me do it. No, just sit. What? What? Who are you? Where are your parents? My parents are in a country very far away. My family is very, very poor. We were hungry all the time. At least here, I'm not hungry. But do you ever miss them? I have brothers and sisters, and they live in Mexico. I miss them all the time. But me and my puppy send them money. I barely remember my family. This is going to be beautiful. Like you.
<laughs> they shout and they shout every night. Someone is always shouting about something. Miriam, your clothes are like a whore. Adam, you cannot date an American girl. Every night. <laughs> what are you doing? What? That. <laughs> are you trying to shake something out of your hair? No. I saw the American woman do it on TV with her new hair. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Your hair is already... So, um... How come you can read and do math, but you don't go to school? When I was in Mexico, I went to school. Do you want to go back to Mexico? No. Bad grades and calculus. Look, Papa, what's the big deal with Cal? I'm getting A's and everything else. Mathematics is the foundation of all technology and sciences. Math is the key to every success. Well, why don't you ask him about the numbers on his hand? It's nothing. What is it? Just a reminder, homework problems. Please. Homework? Yes. <laughs> Written on your hand by a beautiful American girl. I mean, that looks like a phone number to me. An American girl? We live in America. What's the big deal if I wanted an American girl? Oh, this is he can date? No, he cannot date. Neither are you do. Suzanne, this is your son. You raised him this way. OK, and now you put all the fault in this life on me. You wanted to raise them the way you want. You forget where we come from. I want some rice. Okay. Be nice to the girl. The girl. I know. I don't want him to date an American girl either. Take away his car. No. No, not that girl. Talking about Layla. What about her? Which sister is her mother? What? Look at me. When you went back home and you brought a girl that I was not expecting, and you told me she was your niece. So, which niece is she? My sister, Sarah. That's not what the document says. Document? I found the contract between you and Layla's parents and there is no Sarah's name on it. And since when do sisters have to write a contract, huh? Tell me! Okay. Sarah adopted her. She begged me to bring her here, just for a better life. After all I did for you, you do this to me, huh? I didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. You lied to me! This is what's wrong! Everything that I did was motivated by the desire to perform a charitable act for an impoverished family in my country. Don't you think that I could have hired a Mexican housekeeper in this country much easier? Really? For $30 a month? Right? How much did she say? Really? For $30 a month? My god, it's not very much, is it? Huh? Sorry, yes. Proceed. We paid Layla's family more than $30 a month. She's lying if she says otherwise. $30 is ridiculous. Excuse me, Your Honor. I'd like to show you Exhibit C. This is a contract. 
between Ms. Sahal and Layla's parents for $30 a month for the term of 10 years. Well, $30 for a poor family like that is equivalent to 300 American dollars. Then why didn't you just send them the money? Why work the child to the bone? Objection to the bone is figurative language. It's non-quantifiable. OK, fine. Then let's try this. Did the child come here willingly? Yes. She came very willingly. No casa, no comida. Americans, they throw everything out. Everything. Everything is garbage to them. <laughs> can you fix it or what? If I can't fix it, no one can. <laughs> Papi, can I ask you something? See? Si. Can I go to school? My back, mijo. If our employers see me struggle, they will find someone younger and stronger. Comprende? Toma, screw them back in. Bien, sí. all the school you need right here. You want math? Get a lapis, I'll show you math. <laughs> <laughs> what else you want me to fix? The copesa? know that you're here and they'll come and put you in jail. Do you know what they do to little girls like you in jail? Look, there are words that help us explain it. We can read and figure it out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Don't you want to uh, find out how Sherlock Holmes solved the mystery? No. No. Math is the key to every success. Where's your algebra book, Miriam? It was here. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't have it. That's 10 participation points off. Hey, Layla. Hi. We're going out. Adam and Mariam are coming with us. Zach will be home, though. OK, be careful, OK? Take care. What's 
You want to come with your brother? I, I can't. I have to wait for the driver lane. you have a phone number for them? I don't know it. Come on, we got to go. Oh, yeah. Tell them we're taking them to Scripps Memorial. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. You shouldn't be here. Everyone else can see you. Yuri, who do you think you are? Suzanne, huh? calm down. She did the right thing. The doctor said he could have died and his appendix would have burst. He'll be home tomorrow. And what about okay. the big bombing mess she left on the carpet? Who's going to clean it? Huh? Why don't you try to be a human being for once? Your Honor, the defense would like to call Sam Sahal to the stand. Mr. Sahal, could you please tell us what life would be like for Layla in her village had you not hired her? Objection, Your Honor. He did not hire her. Your Honor, when child actors receive wages in the US, they don't get paid directly. It goes to their parents. This is a very comparable situation where in which Layla's wages were paid directly to her parents. Objection overruled. Again, Mr. Sahal, can you tell us what life would be like in Layla's village? A girl like Layla would live with her parents and 10 other siblings in a two-bedroom house made of crumbling concrete in a slum. The parents are most likely unemployed. They wouldn't know where their next meal is coming from. The children would live in a lice-infected mattress thrown on the floor. Layla, as the oldest child, was their only source of income. So if Layla were still living in this village, would she have any hope for uh, education, for a career? Layla would have been forced to marry at age 16 or younger. She would never get a chance to go to school or get education. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. Sustained. All right, Mr. Sahal, what would life be like for a girl like Layla like if she remained there? Would she have any hope for a education or for a job? Only 15% of women in Layla's village are literate. Many families or parents prefer that their kids work in carpet factories uh, or the fields. The percentage of female circumcision is as high as 90% of villages and small towns. Thank you. So what is life like now for Layla in the United States? We live in a five bedroom, $1 million home in Chino Hills. She had three balanced meals. She had her own room, bed, and dresser. So from what I can see, you took Layla from a two-room hovel in an impoverished country and brought her to a California mansion. I mean, I, I don't live as well as she does. I mean, it sounds like the Sahals here are on trial for providing this young girl with the American dream. Objection, Your Honor. Layla was held in a rat-infested garage. We do not have rats. She had no air conditioning, no heating. She was held in domestic slavery. She got no education. She got no medical care. Federal prisoners live better than she lived. And now you're going to stand there and call this the American dream? Objection sustained. Counsel, refrain from using figurative phrases like the American dream. Where do you think you're going? I told you you can't go outside. I'm going to give them their lunch. Oh, I can't take your lunch back. Oh, wait. Um, I accidentally forgot something. Can you give me a minute? What did you forget? I... 
Well, I give the boy a whole sandwich instead of half. Let me take the half out and I'll eat it the rest for lunch. Fine. Go change it. Nada, papá. What do you want? I need to use the restroom. You can't use our restroom. I need to cagar. <sighs> okay. Fine. It's back there. Hey! Take off your shoes. Gracias. Stay away from you. There is no other way. If she catches me outside this house again, she'll take me to jail. That is a lie. She won't take you to jail. Who else will do the work? So what are you going to do? Visit me in the locked garage? Are you Superman? <sighs> Next Wednesday, before she leaves, unlock the bathroom window. And what? You will crawl in? She will figure it out. She's like Sherlock Holmes. Please, just do it. You see this? This is for dinner. Three more people. It's a very special occasion. Mr. Sal has invited his boss. OK? Go, go get it done. What are you doing? It was stuffy in here. What stuff? Come on down. Stuff. Get in there. Now. No sound. Family? <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was funny. Well, Adam has 4.20 on his GPA. Nah. He's now taking three AP classes. Is that true? Mm-hmm. What colleges have you applied to? Oh, we're waiting to hear from Harvard, uh, MIT, uh, BU, and Stanford. Maya is also in the top 10 of her school graduating seniors. And she received an early acceptance to Radcliffe. Impressive. Although, we're waiting to hear back from Colombia. Wow. wow. <laughs> Adam and Maya have a lot in common. Pass the restroom, please. Um, Maya can take you. It's right down the hall. I'm sure she can find it on her own. Cigar, mini one. Thank you. So, Ibrahim, do you have anyone advising you about uh, your daughter? <laughs> advising me about my daughter? 
I need an advice about my daughter? There are women that arrange these things. Arrange what things, Sam? You know, when you have a daughter and I have a son, they help us get together you, you, and... You're not asking me what I think you are, Sam. Are you talking about an arranged marriage? So this is what the dinner was about? A matchmaking exercise? No, no, of course not. You are... I left my country 20 years ago. I left it behind. Do you understand? I raised my daughter to be an intelligent, independent young woman. She makes her own choices. If she never gets married, that's okay. But we do not have to leave all the old ways behind us. Some of it still makes sense, like parents knowing what's good for their children. I mean, is there anything wrong with you wanting a good son-in-law for your daughter? Somebody she can share heritage and tradition with, and then they pass it to their children. You know, shared values. Well, this one value we do not share. Yes, you can. I broke into your house, and now I'm kidnapping you. Go to school. Yes. We have to go to work. Can. Just for today. Wait. What is that? There. Now you are just like an American student. Only you are the most beautiful. So natural selection is the ability to adapt to an environment in order to survive. In other terms, the strongest live, the weakest die. The strongest eat, the weakest. Now, can you think of any example of natural selection? Yes? Uh, we are new students. Oh, welcome to biology class. I'm Mr. Norman. Do you have your class schedules? Are you ELL, English language learners? No, we, we speak English. All right, just print your names on these cards. Go get a biology textbook from that shelf there, and you can sit in those two empty seats over there. So like I said, the strongest lives, the weakest dies. The strongest eats the weakest. The strongest live, the weakest die. The strongest eat the weakest. Now, can you think of any example of natural selection? And she was like, we're tight, right? So I'm all, whatever. You know, I'm like, chill out, and she's all on my face. Like, WTF. Word up. Hey, you guys looking sick today. I got a B on my geometry test. Oh, snap. So I'm like, hey, get over it. That's just how I roll. What language are they speaking? 
That is English. That's English? <laughs> Me either. I've never seen that. Me either. It was crazy. It was really crazy. I Did could... you see the little thing? Yeah, I saw that it was green or something in there. I mean, I cannot believe this. Oh, and you brought the gardener with you to mow the lawn. How nice. Um, we're visiting school for the day. I finished all my housework. Does my mother know that you're out of the house? No. And you're not going to tell her? Oh, really? Well, see, I would call her right now and tell her, but I want to be home to see what she does to you. If you tell your mother about this, I will tell her about all the times you have snuck up to the house with your American boyfriend. It's not so good to see that. This is where I live. But I don't see any houses in there. Because we don't live in a house. Me and my puppy live in a shack that is hidden. You're American, aren't you? Who are you hiding from? <laughs> no, we are illegal too. We are hiding from La Migra. If they find us, they will send us back to Mexico. What? If you got sent back to Mexico, I would be lost. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. That is not happening. Don't worry. <laughs> Me and my puppy. Pretty good. We didn't get back, luckily. <laughs> Mexican boy in secret. Please. Yes. I would like to call my family, please. Come here. Closer.
What happened to you? I fell down the stairs. It was dark. Your family have no phone. Layla, tomorrow I'll call somebody from the village and they'll let your mother or father know to call me, collect, okay? It's too late now, go sleep. So you're telling me you know of a girl who was brought into this country illegally for domestic servitude? By whom? Officer Sanderson, I, I have a question first. What will happen to this person, the one who brought her into this country? Human trafficking is a felony with severe penalties. If convicted, we're talking about fines and imprisonment. Is the penalty for transporting the girl more harsh than employing her? Providing that the employment is not forced, yes. The trafficking is far more serious. What will happen if they bring her back to her family and, and her country? Uh, there is no crime then, right? I would advise them to let the government handle it and to hire a good attorney. Maybe I should ask around then, eh? Was it the father or the brother? Who should I start with? No. Don't say a word to anyone. They will only deny it, and then you'll lose your job. I don't care. It will be Shh. worth it. Don't, Emilio. They know you're legal. They'll turn you into the... What are they called? La Migra? I can't let them do this to you. You can stay with me and my papi. You don't have to come back here. In what, Emilio? A canyon? At least here, I have a roof over my head. 
go away. I don't want to see you anymore. It was the father, wasn't it? It was the bend of the father, us. No. Stop with him. It was the brother. Mr. Sahal, who transported Layla to the United States with a forged passport? It wasn't forged. It was my daughter Mariam's passport. Let me rephrase that. Who transported Layla to the United States with a fraudulent passport? I know this is difficult for you, Mr. Sahal. Yes, it is. It was my wife, Suzanne, who brought this girl to this country. And she was transported to the United States for the purpose of domestic labor in your home. Yes. And she was, at times, held, locked, against her will. Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Sahal. You're going to have to speak a little more loudly. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sahal. No further questions, Your Honor. Adam, what happened to your lip? It was an accident. Why didn't you tell us anything about this? Did you report it to school? He does not need to report everything to the school. He's not a baby. You look like a hideous monster. Hey, hey! Don't take this out on your sister. You're a man now. You can figure what to do. Everyone knows where the Mexican camp is. It's where you go to smoke pot. And when he's gone, I will do whatever I want with her. Where did you go? What are you doing? Huh? I'm getting out of here. You can't go anywhere. Sam! Sam, help me! Sam! What happened?
Agent Hardy? Hi, kids, right here. I'm right here. Okay. Any citizens? No? Do you have any sort of ID? Green card? Visa? What about you, miss? No, I have nothing. I'm with him. Okay. Call the task force. Uh, you got it. You're taking her. Okay. Come on, buddy. What? No! Emilio! We're taking him to the border. What? We have some people that need to speak this to you. No, just don't worry. We're going to oh, no. That I'm living through wondering, hoping if I was meant for you. Give or take one or two, maybe three days. And I'll admit I was waiting for you for a year or two. Mr. and Mrs. Ibrahim, thank you so much for seeing me. I want to ask you to reconsider your position that you had earlier. Although we can prosecute this house without your testimony, it will be very difficult to convict them. With all due respect to your parents, Layla, you're 18 now. Therefore, it is your call to make. All rise. Court is now back in session. <sighs> so, uh, do you have any other witnesses at this time? Um, uh, yes, Your Honor. I'd like to call Suzanne Sahal to the stand. Ms. Sahal, you understand that you're signed your oath? Yes. I have one final question. Looking back, do you have any feelings of remorse for the unconscionable acts that you committed against a defenseless child? Being orphaned at the age of eight in a slum is unconscionable. Begging and stealing to feed yourself and your younger sister and watching her die from malnourishment, that's unconscionable than to consider yourself as one of the lucky ones if you're taken in by a wealthy family, that is unconscionable. When the family makes you to sleep in a stall with animals, beats you for any smallest infractions, then forces you to witness someone else's infant child, when you're just a kid yourself, if you can even imagine to be raped by different brothers of this family every night. You always want to slash your wrists, but you fear offending God. And the only thing, the only one who saves you from this hell on earth is the youngest son of this rich family, who sees past through dirt and misery, who sees you, who offers you kindness, and even love. You persecute me. You even dare persecute the man who sacrificed everything. His family, his birthright, his country, all to give me a new life. You judge me, but judging him, that's unconscionable. No further questions, Your Honor. Compelling. Even if only half of it is true. Your Honor, I'd like to call Layla Ibrahim to the stand, please.
Please state your name. Leila. Back in 20 minutes. All rise. Court is now in session. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Sal, you know, I, I find it difficult uh, to express my total disgust. I feel for the inhumanity that you committed upon this young, innocent child by enslaving her within the wall of your home. You robbed her of a precious, irreplaceable childhood. You, you denied her an education, medical care. And the one thing which I really abhor you have really stopped her in her tracks from having a family and their love. We all need a family's love. She, somehow, I'll never know how, but she has flourished. She's become a very vibrant and intelligent young woman. And believe me, you can take it from me. She will be a great asset to our society. And as for you, you claim to know the pain of inhumanity, but I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you at all. So, this is Suzanne Sal. I hereby sentence you to five years imprisonment to be interned at the Central California Women's Facility. And at this time, I hand you over to the Department of Corrections. Bailiff. Now, Mr. Stahl, as you obviously have no connection at all with bringing this fine young lady over to this country, and you have cooperated with the authorities, I am going to adhere to the agreement that you had with the prosecutor's office in a side letter. So I am sentencing you to six months probation, 100 hours of community service, and a fine of $10,000. Thank you. Oh, and in anticipation of any civil action, I have also written a brief recommending that the victim be paid for her servitude in your house. Um, I say maybe just a minimum wage with accrued interest. And in my calculation, that comes out to $152,000. Court is adjourned. We're very happy to have this victory today. I'm sure Layla will answer some questions. Congratulations, Ms. Ibrahim. Thank you. Can you tell us about your hopes for your future? Um, I would like to go to medical school. That is, if I'm accepted.
Good afternoon. What can I get you today? Can I get two falafels? Something to drink? Ja, just a rose iced tea with two straws, please. Anything else? Yes, I'd like to know if you'd be my date for the prom. Emilio? What are you doing here? Where, where do you go? One question at a time. I should have never taught you English. I'm here on a student visa. I go to the university. But the, what, what does I can drink for? <laughs> for the girl who taught me more than I can learn to just to trim a tree. <sighs> mm -hmm. 